So today's video, we're gonna be starting it off at El Walmart. We're gonna be doing a survival ammo can. I don't wanna call it a challenge, because it's not really a challenge, because I got him. He's pretty much the, the expert when it comes to survival stuff. And we're gonna take it out in the woods, and then we're gonna show you guys. But first, we're gonna make a pit stop and actually buy the stuff that is needed to put inside the ammo can. Oh, yep. Please take your seat. We gotta make one more pit stop because they didn't have something we needed. I think we're like $30 deep right now. You, you guys will uh, probably need one of these in your, your vehicle at all times, I promise you. It's, it's gonna be very crucial to have one of these. I think my fly's down. Uh. All right, last stop. We need one thing and one thing only. It's like a collapsible, it's called, we'll see if they have one. So he's actually been in Afghanistan for a while. He doesn't know, but we actually do have a rod here in Capellas. I did, I did find what I needed, by the way. So this is going to be his first time actually seeing it, if they actually have any in stock. Hopefully they do. <sighs> yes. That's awesome, bro. That's them. They're there. They're in here. They actually have the, they actually have the new tubed ones. Look. New tubes. New tubes, everybody. So, if you guys are looking for one of my rods, I know they're sold out online, I'm sorry, they're coming back in stock, but if you guys are in the Fort Worth area and need one, Cabela's does have a couple left. They had like six or seven or so of mine left, and some of the other guys as well. So if you guys are looking for them, and you're in Fort Worth, they're at the Cabela's still. And they have some of the new rod tubes actually in stock, which is pretty nice. So we are currently on a slight rain delay, just a very slight one, so it's gonna be really fun to start fires in this too, but I'm gonna tell you right now, just, just give us a sec, it'll be a slight rain delay. While we sit here and wait for the rain to go away, I didn't even ask you this, by the way, this is very impromptu. Uh, impromptu? Impromptu. 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 I want, do you have do you have any random stories from us in the military, like together that we can tell on, on without without hurting anything? Like something funny that happened and or just funny, anything. Like how, how I started off hating you, maybe, perhaps? Yeah, we can. How, oh, what about uh, the NTC when uh, you, just, you just, splattered my camel back? You don't remember that, huh? No, I do. Like I had it hanging on the back of the Bradley and I was like, is the ramp clear? And you're like, yeah, yeah man, it's clear. <laughs> and I raised, like, we okay, were like. Okay, hold the, on, the, yeah, tell them yeah. what to, Okay, so this, uh, so he yeah. actually hated me at the very beginning. And I know you guys like hearing these random military stories. So it's good to have him here. So he hated me at the very beginning. That's an understatement. Like hate is an understatement. Hate, hate is an absolute understatement of how I felt about you when you first came in. I was like this little turd, little turd attitude. Big, yeah, big talk, everything. Just uh, anyways. Had a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, he did. Yeah, these days though, great dude. If 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 I'd have known when I first met you that I would have actually, I, I'd have never guessed when I first met him that I was actually gonna. He'd be my friend. <laughs> never had the concept. It just wasn't a thing. But it, it turned out that way anyways. Yeah, Drew, so. I forgot about that. Right? I, yeah. I I did explode your, your camel bag. And you see, this was long ago. You didn't explode it. This is a big it, up armored vehicle. Yeah, and I and, and, and he was sitting in the back. And I, I don't, yeah, and, and most of you are gonna be like, Matt, it's your fault because it shouldn't have, you know, Been it's yours, it's your responsibility. But yeah, that's but not said, how it works right. in the army. It's his fault yeah. because he's lower on the totem pole, right? Yeah, so uh, we ended up asking him if the ramp was clear in the back, which is this big, heavy metal gate on this armored vehicle that goes... Chunk, closes up, you know, three million pounds of steel. Granted, this is in the Mojave, Mojave Desert? Yeah. Like, Mojave it's Desert, cool. yeah. it's like 110, 115. It's hot. Hot, it's so hot and that you can't get sweat. more water. There's and no more water. It's it, Your sweat was evaporating before it was like getting on your, like on your, like it was very, very hot. Now, now. There, there's, I, I was there's preoccupied in something, I forget what it is, and I don't even think I, I'm the one that asked you if it was clear. Like something happened, <laughs> and they were like, is the ramp clear? And before you know it, he says yes, and it starts going up, and it slams shut, and somebody <laughs> starts wet. talking about water Getting away. Going everywhere. <laughs> and I, was I remember like, I got and splattered. I remember hearing him complaining about water, and that's when it clicked mentally in my head. Like, Dude, did you guys just close my camel back in the back? Like, who called that clear? I remember I, I was like, who up. called it clear? It was me. I lifted up yeah. a little thing. And oh, I was so what? angry. I was so angry. I, sh I, I used some choice words, some really, really choice words. I took my canteen, <laughs> and I threw it at him as hard as humanly possible. I, I had this that. little... Moment of anger and rage, <laughs> and I just threw my canteen Dude, at him. And the thing is, is he couldn't get a new one. I could not. He no. could not get a new camel bag. We were like, like we had a week left at minimum. We were like out where they call going out in the sandbox. It was starting. Out the box. It was started, like, just starting. It was my water that was supposed to last me for at least that day. <laughs> There's a quick, 
quick little tidbit from like 2011. 2011. No, 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 no. no 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2009, 2000, somewhere around there. Oh my gosh, so long. Okay, all right. I so was there. so angry, but I will say after, okay, Ooh. so that same trip though, that same trip where I ended up really, really hating you was also where it began to where I was like, all right, this guy's okay. Like I should keep him around. So where, like, I don't, do you? I don't remember when we were going through that. Remember, we were going through that Mount Village, man. Is that when they were shooting the fake RPGs on the strings at us? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it wasn't in that one. It was in, like, uh, this other one lower they, down. Where they had all the fake people. Oh, no, not the fake people. All the people that not, had the blown off legs and they were laying No, the not that one either, man. It, like, we were doing, uh, we were doing, like, big clearance ones with uh, some of the brads and some humvees. I don't remember. And we were traveling down this, we were traveling down this alleyway, going from building to building. We were traveling down the alleyway. Mm -hmm. And I was pushing the lead fire team up, and you were in the trail fire team. And the OC, like the observer controller, mm -hmm. the dude is on the left. Alpha team and me are on the right, and I'm pushing them forward and moving and moving and moving. And all I hear is shot, boom, and a shot rings out. And as we're moving, the OC looks at me and he's like, hey man, do you know what just happened? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like somebody just shot from the back and we'll, we'll be fine. And it was you. I shot And you had shot. Yeah, yeah you shot the shot target. The yeah. But it was in between Everybody. me and the OC, which was maybe like a mm -hmm. one and a half foot spread. And I, I just kind of ignored it and wrote it off when we kept going. And then he came up to me afterwards. I and I, dude, you were like 100 plus feet in between, behind I shot us. between everybody. Yes, but you were yeah. back. You yeah. guys were back. I didn't know that at yeah. the time. And so like I went up and I got in the building and the OC is like, hey man, you know, uh, you know, it this was, guy, this guy, dangerous. you know, your trail guy ended up shooting. I was like, yeah, whatever, man. Like 15 degree separation. Like we're good to hook, right? Like, yeah, we're good. He's like, no, no, no like no. your trail, trail yeah. guy. It was that's why he was shot like an around. Way. Yeah, that but was you hit the target. I did, but and it, you didn't shoot anybody. No. And so I was just like, before going to Iraq, I'm like, hmm. no, I, I mean, can that. I really be angry at this guy for? No, I don't. I don't think I can be. I forgot. I shot that guy through the through the hallway. Up through the alleyway. Sorry about that. All right, there you go. <laughs> Come on, get out. Don't be a pansy. Just rain. You guys wear seasoned outdoors closing. You can't Settle just hide. You, can't... <laughs> you can't hide there. You don't hide it there. So about the gate, I'm gonna say it out there uh, just real quick. This is gonna be the perfect weather for showing you guys this. They're gonna sit inside. Oh, that's cow poop. Hey, what's up, cow poop? This is uh, the perfect weather because these guys are from up north and they, they wear this clothing called seasoned outdoors, but they sit inside their truck when it's bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out hey, there. Bear Grylls. No, I'm about to show you. This is the real life Bear Grylls. This man right here is pretty much the American version of Bear Grylls. Here's this. Pretty we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna allow you to do every single thing. Just it. I'm just gonna hold the camera and let it get silk and wet, which is you know water and cameras. That's tailgate. that's perfect. Tailgate. Yeah, I'll throw the tailgate down. Yeah. Ryan already knows water and tailgate. Oh gosh, dang, it's locked. No, oh, it's open. Oh, sorry guys. I, I didn't mean. Oh, that's. Oh, I just thought he'd have clipped the can shut. Yeah, I didn't clip it shut. Oh yeah, this stuff turns your hands nice and uh, orange-like. Uh, bleed stop, just in case you... And then two sources of fire, so we have uh, matches. matches and then a mag bar. Tape, because band-aids are gonna fall off after I cut a gaping wound in my arm. So, uh, and then a, uh, a reflective blanket because they take up little to no space and they're actually really, really, really warm and you can line your shelter with it if you do that. The, the, hold on, the lens has got a little bit of a... See that little water effect right there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's raining. It's pretty, yeah. Yeah, it's because there's it's rain. Sick. Oh yeah, this is a spot. Nice and green. Looks like a half decent place to sleep. Oh yeah, this looks good. Lots of trees. Who would have thought in the woods there'd be a lot of trees? So now we're stuck here. Yeah. Now what happens? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a nice spot. You got decent overhead cover from all these leaves and whatnot. You're out of the weather, out of the rain. Um, I kind of <laughs> want to dry out, so I'm going to make a fire. First things first, we're going to have to gather twigs. Picking up the ones on the ground, they're wet, they're nasty, they're disgusting. Everything's going to be waterlogged and moist uh, unless you get pretty far down underneath it. So uh, the ones up in the trees tend to be a little bit drier. They don't suck up so much rain. All the water kind of drips off of them. You'll get like that nice snap to them when you go and pick them off. So we're going to go gather some sticks, make a nice pile of wood so we can get a fire going, and then probably uh, uh, we're going to pretend like I was too stupid to pack water in my Rattle kit, so we'll boil some water real quick after we get the fire going and dry out. Yeah, go from, we'll go there. from there. I think we got a, a meal in there too because I mean, if I'm setting myself up for success so I don't have to suffer through a day, I don't know, maybe if I get stuck in the mud messing with my friends. I've never been known to get stuck in the mud. No, never. <laughs> Holy. The reason why I thought you guys might enjoy this is because this guy has been through like two different legit, legit, legit survival schools. He went through the one in Africa. Uh, what was that? Desert, desert survival, French foreign. Anyway, it don't really matter. He did like two, two different ones, a desert. And of course, more like this kind of stuff. When you go through like uh, one of the SF schools, the seer, and he has to go through it, And it's more like this kind of, that one, that one cracked. Yeah, that's what you want. You want the that crack. one cracked. Oh yeah, that's crack. a cracking one. 
So clearly he's got the medium sized ones mixed or not mixed in with the smaller ones and then of course the bigger ones by themselves. Yeah, there's plenty of bigger ones and then I'm just trying to make a spot for the air to flow. Give us something to bridge off of. So what do we have in here that we haven't used before? I didn't even show him how it was kind of laid out. So what we got yeah, inside yeah, of yeah. here, uh, he's going to need this later because he's going to want to drink some water or something. Maybe, possibly. Let's yeah, see here. water purifying there you go. in case you yeah. just have to drink the water. What do we got here? This is so if you cut yourself, I showed you guys that. That's a heat blanket and then some food, which he'll eat here in a little while. And then inside the pot. Yeah, yeah, in the pot, right? What do you got inside there? This is how you packed it all up. This is the Baggy. stuff we don't really know exactly Yeah, wet about. fire. We haven't tried it yet. We'll give it a go. You're gonna need some waterproof matches and or mag bar. Then inside here, in case we get really crazy, we do have gauze. We can use that to help us start a fire, collect up the magnesium and all that crap, so. We'll try the easy way, which would be, uh, because I'm smart and I'm not an idiot, and I don't like playing with mag bars and banging rocks together to make fire and <laughs> swirling sticks in circles. Matches. It's amazing. We live in the 21st century. Matches. <laughs> using common sense that I don't want all my fire concentrated in one place. We'll sprinkle some in there so it catches nice and even. Take this one, we'll see how it starts with just one. Look at that, look how easy that is. Oh, that was tough. Oh my goodness, fire. It says five minutes, it says it's gonna last for five minutes. That's what it says. Yeah, and I'll probably give it some love and put that match in there too, why not? It's amazing, right? All those sticks will start drying out, it'll get hot, coals will fall to the bottom, and we'll just keep this whole process going. Next up is water. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm thirsty, right? So we got our <laughs> fire going and we got, you know, sticks drying out by the fire. The rain luckily let up on us a little bit. Collecting water, right? Because I want to drink something. Um, I brought plastic bags because they're easier to carry water in. They're multiple use and things like that. There they are. Look at that. Ziploc bags I can carry water back up here with. There you go. Yeah, water, yeah. Yeah, I'll just stay right here because I just watch you slide all the way down this hill because it's super slippery. Oh yeah, collect that water like a champ. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, good good collection job there. Yeah. It's government approved. Yep. Footing. Here, here's here's a good part. Watch this, you ready? <laughs> oh yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's some crud left in the water from the creek a little bit that I don't want to drink. I mean, it's not going to hurt me. I just don't want extra fiber in my diet right now. So I'm just going to use my t-shirt I got underneath here, put it over top of my can, and I'm going to filter the water through that to catch all the bigger particles. Who knows? I mean, like, this was like the easiest fire in the world to start with the right stuff. In wet conditions. In wet conditions. In wet conditions. Just going to throw it out there. In wet conditions. It's pretty, pretty simple. You have the right stuff. So you got it from the creek, so there's a little yeah, random. It's not bad, so we went down to the moving I mean, there's a pond right there. That's probably not the best. Using common sense, there's a... You know, low ground that direction, you follow the low ground, you hit a creek, everything converges in one spot, so there's probably a creek there. I also have cell phone service and my wife is calling me, so give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly clean t-shirt, we'll just filter the water through here, catch all the big crap, and then we don't have to drink any of the big stuff, just little stuff. All right. But if this was a real survival situation, I'd probably just call my lady that just called me. I would just call somebody. I would just call somebody, but we're... Because we want to drink water. <laughs> Go like crap. See that? I don't want to drink that. All those floaties. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that in my life. So we got most of the floaties out, so now we're gonna boil it. Put myself a nice little pedestal. Next question that's gonna be asked. Well, I would say, when do you know it's boiling? But that's pretty much common sense, but how long would you think? The, the moment it starts to boil, you've killed the bacteria. Moment, okay. The moment. But as a general rule, you want it to be a rolling boil and let it last for a little while. You know, and as long as your thirst can handle, you can boil the crap out of it. Just okay. Let it roll for a little bit and then pull it off. Up to a minute, I mean, you're you're good. You've killed it. Okay, that's safe to drink now. You guys can see it. It's just getting it. It's almost a rolling boil. A rolling. Rolling. Rolling boil. Rolling boil. boil. Rolling boil. The bubbles just and everything. Just roll. Rolls yeah. Through. There it goes. Now she's getting there. Oh, she's getting it. Yeah. I'm not gonna drink it. It's Boiling you sure? Hot. Yeah, no, I gotta let it cool off, man. Chug it's too it, hot. Chug it, Boys, I'm not chug chugging it, boiling water. Chug it, chug it. No, no, no. Look. I didn't bring a spoon. That's the one thing we forgot to put in our spoon. Oh. Packet. We could probably make one out of well, it. Well, we, we can. Yeah, we can, make a, we can make a spoon. We don't need one. Look, there's plenty of stuff in here. 
you need to survive for an entire day, guess what? You can eat some chicken teriyaki rice and vegetables. Yeah, you know? while you're smart packing your matches, pack food too. See a little thing in there, Ryan? Will you grab that out of there? <laughs> you just grab that thing, right? Yep, that's not supposed to, there we go. Sweet nectar of life. Well, I know it's water. I've yeah, been sitting fair. here watching you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, so I gotta drink it. I'm thirsty, I've been doing, putting in a lot of work over here. And we'd have more if somebody didn't spill some on the fire. Yeah, about that. Mm, yeah. That was me. Yeah. Yeah, I kicked it over on accident. That, that didn't happen. Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to. That's what happens when you're living out here in the woods and you have cell phone service and <laughs> things. The woods like, with your cell phone service. Uh, like yeah, just dump it in your mouth. Yeah. Just... See, now you can survive. You'd be good. See? You're easy. Surviving. You're easy peasy. Surviving. See? It's amazing. Done. This would taste a lot better if it was hot. If I was starving. Last but not least, actually one of the first things we probably should have done is put up the shelter in the fire. But we're not really going to waste this thing. I don't really think you need a shelter in these trees right now, right off the top of that though. You know what I mean? Oh, there, there it is right there. It's up to you. I want no, to no, no. We're good. We're good. So we got a, the, the blanket. Actually, this is an entire shelter. It's a, uh, it says keep flame and heat sources away from this blanket. So don't, don't put your fire inside there. But you guys now know how to survive in the woods. Thank to the, the kind gentleman scholar who knows how to start fires in the wet rain and windy conditions. So make sure to go grab the stuff that we showed you in the video. That is down over there. It's not a sponsor video by any, by any means this is this is just showing you guys oh hey you didn't show them this the last yeah, but not least you need, yeah. need to show them how to use the mag bar correctly you can eat some more of that <laughs> see if it sparks yeah so it uh it comes with its own scraper but much prefer my own knife and we'll see if uh, we can get some sparks off of it using this knife oh it works what do you know so we're gonna end up using those little shards of magnesium along with the steel and the flint to start a fire. Got a little gauze pad that's in our handy dandy survival kit over there, our mag bar. The, the gauze pad's gonna end up collecting the shavings from here. A lot of people you'll see sit there and try to like rake away at it and throw shavings everywhere. That's kind of stupid. Let the tools do the work for you, so hold it there. And you pull back and scrape and you can actually see them falling down. Those little shavings of magnesium. And then we're gonna make a nice big pile and collect them all up. Now granted, you do this at the beginning if you were too stupid to buy matches when you bought your mag bar. Put it in your survival kit. But this is kind of like a worst case, everything's ran out. Magnesium's gonna burn really, really hot. And you'll see it catch fire here in a second. It's a little bit better than a spark and it gives you that. By the way, this is like you just said, if you did not buy the matches and or ran out of matches. May as well have one of these. I think they were like $4, $3, $4 are yeah, really cheap. So you got a nice chunk of magnesium. Yeah, you'll put that underneath whatever it is you plan on starting your fire with. And you have it there and then you'll Take your flint, so flip the stone over and you have it, and then again, drag it across the rock. What the hell was that? Drag it across your knife, and it'll start throwing them. Oh, dude, that was the oh, bar. Oh, that was the, the bar. There, there it is right there. There she is. So that's fine. We'll just use this. Apparently, uh, don't buy the Walmart mag bar. That was $4. Okay. Yeah. Once again, not a pr promotional piece here. Yeah. So just, don't, don't buy one of these ones. Buy a more expensive one. Yeah. There it goes. Woo. And, and have, that's how you would start the fire. And we have fire using a mag bar. And uh, was that a gauze pad that we packed? Gauze pad, yeah. So dual purpose, right? Look, it's burning. You can start a fire. So we'll go ahead and smother this fire, huh? Just kind of just... There's a bag of water right there you can pour on. Just, just kind of kick in. So that is going to be it for today's video. I know you guys are probably wondering why it was such a kind of a weird, strange vlog. I don't want to call it a vlog. It's more like a uh, teaching session. But this is the kind of guy you want to learn this stuff from if you've never done it and or get stuck in a situation like this where it's wet, cold, rainy. Just have the proper supplies in your truck and you'll be good to go. Or car or bike or backpack or whichever it is. It is a... Oh, six and a half Creedmoor. It's one of mine. So if you guys are new to the channel, you guys have no clue what you're about to experience. It's 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 pretty glorious and awesome. But if you guys are uh, you've been here around for a while, you guys know what's about to happen. Click that video right there if you've not seen that one. Hey, click the one right below it if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there. Do it to it. Love and pieces. I love everybody. Thanks for hey.